Today, I want to talk to you about a concept that is simple yet profound, a philosophy that can transform the way you approach every challenge, every setback, and every opportunity in your life. The concept is learn to act as if nothing bothers you. Now, I know what you might be thinking. How can I possibly act as if nothing bothers me when there are so many challenges and problems in my life? That's a fair question. But before we dive into the heart of this philosophy, let me ask you another question. Have you ever noticed how some people seem to remain calm and composed in the face of adversity while others seem to crumble under pressure? The difference lies not in the situations they face, but in how they perceive and react to those situations. It's about developing a mindset, a way of thinking and acting that enables you to maintain your composure and clarity of thought no matter what life throws your way. Let's start by understanding what it means to act as if nothing bothers you. It does not mean being indifferent or uncaring. It does not mean ignoring your problems or pretending they don't exist. Rather, it's about adopting a stance of resilience and poise. It's about facing life's challenges with a calm, confident demeanor, knowing that you have the inner strength to handle whatever comes your way. The first step in learning to act as if nothing bothers you is to cultivate a positive attitude. A positive attitude is like a powerful engine that drives you forward, even when the road gets tough. It's about focusing on solutions rather than problems, on opportunities rather than obstacles. But how do you develop a positive attitude? It starts with your thoughts. Your thoughts have incredible power over your emotions and actions. Negative thoughts breed negative emotions, which in turn can lead to negative actions. Conversely, positive thoughts lead to positive emotions and actions. So the key is to train your mind to focus on the positive, to look for the good in every situation. Now let's talk about resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges. It's about having the mental toughness to persevere even when things don't go as planned. Resilient people don't see setbacks as failures. They see them as opportunities to learn, grow, and become stronger. How do you build resilience? By stepping out of your comfort zone and facing your fears, it's about taking on challenges, not because they're easy, but because they're hard. It's about pushing yourself to grow and develop, even when it's uncomfortable. Every time you face a challenge and come out on the other side, you build a little more resilience. Another critical aspect of acting as if nothing bothers you is emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage your own emotions as well as the emotions of others. It's about being aware of how your emotions affect your thoughts and actions and learning to control them rather than letting them control you. So how do you develop emotional intelligence? By practicing self-awareness and self-regulation, Pay attention to your emotions and the triggers that set them off. Learn to pause and reflect before reacting. Ask yourself, is my reaction going to help or hinder my ability to handle this situation? Next, let's talk about the power of perspective. Your perspective, the way you view a situation, has a profound impact on how you react to it. Two people can face the same challenge and have completely different reactions based solely on their perspective to adopt a perspective that helps you act as if nothing bothers you, try to see the bigger picture. Ask yourself, in the grand scheme of things, how important is this issue? Will it matter a week, a month, or a year from now? By putting things in perspective, you can reduce their power to upset or bother you. Finally, let's talk about the importance of taking action. Action is the antidote to fear and uncertainty. When you take action, you take control. You move from being a passive victim of circumstances to an active participant in shaping your own destiny. But what kind of action should you take? Start with small, manageable steps. Break down big challenges into smaller, more manageable tasks. Focus on what you can do right now in this moment to move closer to your goals. In conclusion, learning to act as if nothing bothers you is not about being invincible or unfeeling. It's about developing a mindset of resilience, positivity, emotional intelligence, perspective, and action.
It's about facing life's challenges with grace and poise, knowing that you have the strength and the skills to handle anything that comes your way. So I challenge you to start practicing these principles today. Cultivate a positive attitude. Build your resilience, develop your emotional intelligence, gain perspective, and take action. Remember, it's not the challenges you face that define you, but how you choose to face them. As we continue our exploration of the powerful concept of acting as if nothing bothers you, let's delve deeper into practical strategies and real-life applications of this philosophy. Now, you might wonder, how can I consistently maintain this mindset in the face of real-world challenges? This is where the principle of habit formation comes into play. Remember, our actions and reactions are often the result of deeply ingrained habits. To act as if nothing bothers you, you need to develop new habits that support this mindset. Let's talk about the habit of proactive problem solving. When faced with a problem, instead of reacting emotionally, train yourself to approach it systematically. Ask yourself, what is the root cause of this problem? Once you identify brainstorm possible solutions, weigh the pros and cons of each solution and choose the best course of action. By adopting a problem-solving approach, you shift your focus from being bothered by the problem to actively addressing it. Another habit to cultivate is the habit of gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can instantly shift your perspective. When you find yourself feeling overwhelmed or bothered, pause for a moment and think of three things you are grateful for. This simple exercise can transform your mindset and help you approach situations with a more positive and balanced perspective. Now, let's talk about the power of communication. Effective communication is key in ensuring that external factors do not disturb your inner peace. When you're faced with a challenging situation involving others, communicate clearly and assertive. Express your thoughts and feelings honestly, but with respect and empathy for the other person's perspective. This approach not only helps in resolving conflicts, but also strengthens relationships, making it easier for you to maintain your composure in future interact. Furthermore, let's not underestimate the importance of self-care in our ability to remain unbothered by external circumstances. Regular exercise, adequate sleep, a healthy diet, and mindfulness practices like meditation can greatly enhance your physical and mental resilience. When you take care of yourself, you strengthen your ability to stay calm and composed in the face of challenge. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever faced a situation that seemed insurmountable at the time, but in hindsight, turned out to be a valuable learning experience? Reflecting on such experiences can reinforce your belief in your ability to handle challenges. Remember, every challenge you've overcome in the past is proof of your resilience and capability. Incorporating these practices into your daily life won't happen overnight. It requires commitment and consistency, but the rewards are immense. By cultivating these habits, you not only learn to act as if nothing bothers you, but you also develop true inner strength and peace. I encourage each of you to start applying these principles in your life. Remember, the greatest power you have is the power to choose your response to any situation. Choose to be unbothered. Choose to be a positive force in your own life and in the lives of those around you. Let's go forward with confidence and courage, ready to face the world with the conviction that nothing can truly bother us unless we allow it to. Thank you, and I wish you all the success and happiness in your journey ahead. As we continue our journey through the empowering philosophy of acting as if nothing bothers you. Let's now turn our attention to some more nuanced aspects of this concept, aspects that can have a profound impact on your personal and professional life. At this point, you might be wondering, how can I sustain this mindset in the long term? The key lies in building resilience, not just as a temporary coping mechanism, but as a fundamental part of your character. Let's explore the idea of emotional resilience. This goes beyond merely handling immediate problems or setbacks. Emotional resilience is about developing a deep, enduring strength that comes from within. It involves understanding and accepting your emotions, but not being controlled or overwhelmed by them. 
How do you develop emotional resilience? It begins with self-awareness. Be honest with yourself about your feelings and reactions. When you're upset or bothered, ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? What is this emotion telling me? Understanding the root cause of your emotions is the first step in managing them effectively. Another aspect of emotional resilience is the ability to recover from setbacks. Life will inevitably throw challenges your way. This is a reality we all face. The question is not whether you will encounter difficulties, but how you will respond. Will you allow these challenges to defeat you, or will you use them as stepping stones to grow stronger and more resilient? To build this kind of resilience, you need to develop a growth mindset. Oh. Growth mindset is the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. It's about embracing challenges, persisting in the face of setbacks, learning from criticism and finding lessons and inspiration in the success of others. With a growth mindset, every challenge becomes an opportunity to learn and improve. Now let's delve into the importance of setting and pursuing meaningful goals. Goals give you a sense of direction and purpose. They keep you focused and motivated, especially when things get tough. But it's not just about setting goals. It's about setting the right goals. Goals that are aligned with your values and your deepest desires. How do you set meaningful goals? Start by asking yourself what you truly want in life. What are your passions? What makes you feel fulfilled and happy? Your goals should be a reflection of these inner desires. They should be challenging enough to stretch you, but realistic enough to be achievable. Once you've set your goals, develop a plan to achieve them. Break down each goal into smaller, manageable tasks. Create a timeline and set deadlines for each task. And most importantly, take consistent action. Remember, a goal without action is just a dream. Finally, let's talk about the power of positive relationships. The people you surround yourself with can have a significant impact on your ability to remain unbothered by life's challenges. Surround yourself with positive, supportive people who believe in you and your goals. These relationships can provide encouragement, inspiration, and practical help when you need it. In building positive relationships, communication is key. Be open and honest in your interactions. Listen actively to others. Show empathy and understanding and provide support when they need it. Positive relationships are a two-way street. They require effort and commitment from both sides. Remember, the journey to acting as if nothing bothers you is a journey of personal growth and development. It's a journey that requires patience, perseverance, and a positive attitude. But it's a journey that is well worth undertaking. Go forth with the confidence and conviction that you have the strength and resilience to handle anything life throws your way. Remember, you have the power to choose your response to any situation. Choose to be unbothered, choose to be resilient, and choose to create the life you desire. As we delve deeper into the art of acting as if nothing bothers you, let's explore some more advanced strategies and real-life applications to truly embody this empowering mindset. Let's begin with the concept of mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and engaged in the moment without distraction or judgment. It's about being aware of your thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and surrounding environment. By practicing mindfulness, you develop the ability to remain calm and centered, even in the midst of chaos. How do you practice mindfulness? It can be as simple as taking a few minutes each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath. Notice the sensations of each breath as it enters and leaves your body. When your mind wanders, gently bring your focus back to your breath. This practice can help you cultivate a sense of inner peace and clarity that stays with you throughout. Another key aspect of acting as if nothing bothers you is the ability to detach from outcomes. While it's important to set goals and work towards them, becoming overly attached to specific outcomes can lead to frustration and disappointment. Learn to put in your best effort, but also to accept that there are many factors beyond your control. How do you practice detachment? 
Start by reminding yourself of the difference between effort and outcome. You can control your effort, but you cannot control every aspect of the outcome. Focus on doing your best and let go of the need for things to turn out a certain way. This mindset allows you to remain flexible and adaptable, ready to seize new opportunities as they arise. Now let's talk about the power of resilience in the face of failure. Failure is an inevitable part of life, but it doesn't have to define you. Instead, view failure as a valuable learning experience. Every time you fail, you gain insights that can help you do better next time. How do you build resilience to failure? Start by changing your attitude towards failure. Instead of seeing it as a negative, view it as a stepping stone to success. Analyze what went wrong and what you can learn from the experience. Then use these lessons to improve your approach and strategy. Another important element is maintaining a balance between work and personal life. It's easy to become so absorbed in your work and goals that you neglect other aspects of your life. But true success is about achieving balance. Make time for your family, friends, hobbies, and interests. These activities not only bring joy and fulfillment, but also help you recharge and maintain perspective. Finally, let's consider the role of physical health in your ability to act as if nothing bothers you. Your physical health has a direct impact on your mental and emotional well-being. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and sufficient rest are crucial for maintaining the energy and stamina needed to tackle life's challenge. Acting as if nothing bothers you is a comprehensive approach that involves mindfulness, detachment from outcomes, resilience to failure, work-life balance, and physical health. By integrating these practices into your daily life, you'll find that you become more composed, confident, and capable of handling whatever life throws your way. Go forward with the knowledge that you have the tools and strategies to remain unbothered by life's ups and downs. Remember, you are in control of your reactions and attitudes. Choose to stay calm, choose to stay focused, and choose to lead a balanced and fulfilling life. As we continue to unravel the layers of acting as if nothing bothers you, let's broaden our perspective even further. We'll explore additional concepts and strategies that resonate with this empowering approach to life. A crucial element in this journey is the cultivation of empathy and understanding. Often, the challenges we face involve others, their actions, words, or behaviors. Developing a deep sense of empathy allows you to understand and connect with others on a more profound level, helping you to navigate interpersonal challenges more effectively. How do you cultivate empathy? Begin by actively listening to others. When someone is speaking, focus entirely on understanding their perspective even if it differs from your own, put yourself in their shoes. Try to understand their motivations, feelings, and challenges. This understanding can significantly change your reaction to situations, helping you to remain unbothered by external conflicts. Another key aspect is the concept of lifelong learning. The world is constantly changing, and to stay unbothered by the challenges this brings, you need to be committed to continuous growth and adaptation. Lifelong learning isn't just about formal education. It's about staying curious, seeking new experiences, and being open to new ideas. How do you embrace lifelong learning? Make it a habit to read regularly. Books, articles, anything that expands your knowledge and understanding of the world. Attend workshops, seminars, and courses. Learn from others, be it from mentors, colleagues, or even those you meet casually. Every interaction is an opportunity to learn something new. Now let's focus on the power of positive visualization. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help reinforce your ability to act as if nothing bothers you. It involves creating a vivid mental image of the desired outcome, feeling the emotions associated with that success, and using this positive energy to motivate your actions. How do you practice positive visualization? Set aside time each day to visualize your goals and aspirations. Close your eyes and picture yourself achieving your goals, overcoming challenges, 
and acting with unshakable calm and confidence. Feel the emotions of success, satisfaction, and peace. This practice can significantly impact your mindset and approach to life. Another essential element in this journey is the practice of self-reflection. Regular self-reflection allows you to understand your thought patterns, behaviors, and reactions. It helps you identify areas where you can improve and reinforces your commitment to acting as if nothing bothers you. How do you practice self-reflection? Dedicate a few minutes each day to reflect on your actions and experiences. Ask yourself questions like, what did I handle well today? What could I have done differently? And what did I learn from today's challenge? This practice fosters self-awareness and personal growth. In conclusion, acting as if nothing bothers you is a comprehensive philosophy that encompasses empathy, lifelong learning, positive visualization, and self-reflection. These practices help you develop a mindset of resilience, positivity, and continuous growth. As we move forward, let's embrace these principles with enthusiasm and commitment. Let's continue to learn, grow, and develop ourselves in every aspect of our lives, Remember, the greatest power lies within you, the power to choose your attitude, your reactions, and your path in life. The art of maintaining composure and resilience in the face of life's challenges, it becomes increasingly clear that this is not just a skill, but a way of life. Let's explore more facets of this philosophy. One significant aspect of acting, as if nothing bothers you, is the art of prioritization. In a world teeming with demands and distractions, understanding what truly matters is crucial. Prioritization is about recognizing the value of your time and energy and focusing these precious resources on what's most important. How do you master prioritization? Start by identifying your core values and goals. What are the principles that guide your life? What are the objectives you're striving to achieve? Once these are clear, evaluate your daily activities. Ask yourself, does this align with my values? Is this bringing me closer to my goals? This practice helps you to say no to unimportant tasks and yes to actions that enrich your life and bring you closer to your aspirations. Another critical component is the practice of strategic thinking. This involves looking beyond immediate circumstances and considering the long-term implications of your actions. Strategic thinking allows you to navigate life with foresight and wisdom, helping you to remain undisturbed by transient challenges. How can you develop strategic thinking? One way is to regularly set aside time for planning and reflection. Consider potential future scenarios and how your decisions today might affect those outcomes. Learn from past experiences and apply these lessons to your future plans. This approach helps you make decisions that are not just reactive, but proactive and considered. Additionally, let's consider the role of physical fitness in your ability to stay composed and unbothered. Physical fitness is not just about maintaining a healthy body. It's about nurturing a strong and resilient mind. Regular physical activity can significantly improve your ability to handle stress and maintain mental clarity. How do you incorporate physical fitness into your life. Find an activity that you enjoy and can stick to. Whether it's walking, running, swimming, yoga, or a sport, make it a regular part of your routine, just like eating or sleeping. Remember, the goal is not to become an athlete, but to maintain a level of physical activity that supports your overall well-being. Let's also talk about the role of humor and lightheartedness. The ability to laugh at life's challenges and sometimes at ourselves can be a powerful tool in maintaining our composure. Humor can diffuse tension, lighten the mood, and provide a much needed perspective. How can you cultivate a sense of humor? Start by not taking yourself too seriously. Learn to find humor in everyday situations. Surround yourself with people who have a healthy sense of humor watch comedies, read funny books, or simply share a laugh with friends and family. This practice can transform your outlook on life and help you deal with challenges more effectively. The philosophy of acting, as if nothing bothers you, encompasses a wide array of practices, prioritization, strategic thinking, physical fitness, and a sense of humor. 
Each of these elements contributes to building a resilient, composed, and joyful approach to life. As we delve deeper, it becomes essential to recognize the importance of adaptability in our lives. Adaptability is the skill that allows you to adjust to new conditions, to be flexible in the face of change, and to remain composed when the unexpected happens. In a world that is constantly evolving, the ability to adapt is not just valuable, it's essential for thriving amidst life's uncertainties. How do you cultivate adaptability? It starts with an open mindset. Be willing to challenge your existing beliefs and consider new ideas. Embrace change as an opportunity for growth rather than a threat to your comfort zone. When faced with new situations, instead of resisting, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this contribute to my growth? Moreover, let's explore the concept of mentorship and its role in helping us maintain our composure. A mentor is someone who has walked the path before you, someone who can offer guidance, wisdom, and support. In your journey to acting as if nothing bothers you, having a mentor can be invaluable. How do you find and make the most of mentorship? Look for individuals who embody the qualities you aspire to develop. This could be a colleague, a leader in your industry, or even a public figure whose work you admire. Reach out to them, ask questions, and most importantly, listen to their advice and experiences. Remember, mentorship is not about imitating someone else. It's about learning from their journey to inform your own. Another vital aspect to consider is the practice of giving back. Contributing to the well-being of others can provide a profound sense of fulfillment and perspective. It reminds us of the interconnectedness of our lives and helps us focus on what truly matters. How do you practice giving back? Look for opportunities to help those around you, whether in your community, workplace, or social circles. It could be as simple as offering a listening ear to a friend, volunteering for a cause you believe in, or mentoring someone else. The act of giving not only enriches the lives of others, but also adds depth and meaning to your own life the journey to acting as if nothing bothers you is enriched by adaptability, mentorship, and the practice of giving back. These elements help you navigate life with grace. Learn from those who have gone before you and contribute positively to the world around you. Continuing on this path of discovery with me, as we delve further into the philosophy of acting as if nothing bothers you, let's explore additional strategies and insights that can deepen our understanding and enhance our ability to remain composed and focused. One fundamental aspect of this journey is the cultivation of self-discipline. Self-discipline is the cornerstone of success in any endeavor. It's the ability to do what needs to be done even when you don't feel like doing it. With self-discipline, you can maintain your focus and keep moving forward, regardless of the distractions or obstacles that come your way. How do you cultivate self-discipline? Begin by setting clear goals and creating a structured plan to achieve them. Establish routines and rituals that support your goals. Practice delaying gratification and resisting temptations that do not align with your objectives. Remember, self-discipline is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. Another crucial element is the practice of patience. In a world where instant gratification is often the norm, learning to be patient is a powerful skill. Patience allows you to remain calm and composed even when things are not moving as quickly as you'd like. How do you develop patience? Start by managing your expectations. Understand that worthwhile achievements take time. Practice mindfulness to stay present in the moment and appreciate the journey, not just the destination. When you feel impatience creeping in, Take a deep breath and remind yourself of the bigger picture. Furthermore, let's consider the importance of emotional balance. Emotional balance is about maintaining a steady and even-tempered approach to life's ups and downs. It involves handling emotions in a way that is proportional to the situation and not allowing them to dominate your thoughts and actions. How do you achieve emotional balance? Develop healthy coping mechanisms for stress, such as exercise, meditation, or talking to a trusted friend. 
Avoid making decisions when you are emotionally charged. Give yourself time to cool down and think things through. Cultivate a positive outlook and practice gratitude to keep your emotions in check. In addition, let's explore the role of effective decision making. Making sound decisions is critical in maintaining composure and moving forward in life. It involves weighing your options, considering the consequences, and choosing a course of action that aligns with your values and goals. How do you enhance your decision-making skills? Gather as much information as you can before making a decision. Seek advice from trusted mentors or experts. Consider the short-term and long-term implications of your choices. And once you've made a decision, commit to it fully, but be willing to adapt if circumstances change. Let's also talk about the power of positive affirmations. Positive affirmations are statements that you repeat to yourself to foster a positive mindset. These affirmations can reinforce your ability to remain unbothered by challenges and reinforce your belief in your capabilities. How do you use positive affirmations? Choose affirmations that resonate with your goals and aspirations Repeat them daily, ideally in the morning, to set a positive tone for the day. Believe in the words you are saying. It's not just about reciting them, but about feeling their truth and power. Another key aspect is the importance of maintaining a supportive network. Surrounding yourself with supportive, like-minded individuals can provide encouragement, motivation, and a sense of belonging. These relationships are crucial in helping you stay composed and focused. How do you build and maintain a supportive network? Seek out people who share your values and aspirations. Engage in communities, whether professional or personal, that align with your goals. Be willing to offer support to others. Remember, a network is about give and take. Finally, let's embrace the concept of continuous improvement. The journey to acting as if nothing bothers you is not about reaching a final destination, but about constantly striving to be better. It's about learning from every experience and using that knowledge to improve. How do you practice continuous improvement? Regularly assess your progress and identify areas for growth. Be open to feedback and willing to make changes. Stay curious and open to new experiences and ideas. Remember, the goal is not perfection but constant progress. In conclusion, the art of acting as if nothing bothers you involves a multitude of skills and practices. Self-discipline, patience, emotional balance, effective decision-making, positive affirmations, a supportive network, and continuous improvement. Each of these elements contributes to building a resilient, focused, and balanced approach to life. Thank you for your dedication and willingness to embark on this journey with me. As we continue to grow and evolve, let's embrace these principles with enthusiasm and determination. Let's strive to be disciplined, patient, emotionally balanced, decisive, positive, supportive, and always improving. Remember, the greatest strength lies within you. The strength to choose your attitude, your actions, and your path in life. Choose to remain unbothered by life's challenges. Choose to grow and improve. And choose to create a life that is not only successful, but also deeply meaningful and fulfilling. Thank you once again. May your journey be filled with growth, learning, and an abundance of success and happiness.